Imagine if you lived in a world wherein everything is your fault. Even the things that are outside of your control. Maybe you spin the thinking of, maybe if I could have done X, Y, Z, maybe the outcome would have been a little bit different. So everything is your responsibility and is your fault. What kind of life would that be? Comment down below what is spinning in your mind right now. What is that pressure like? What is that responsibility like? What kind of life do you think you would be living if you had that mindset? Go ahead and comment that down below. It's a very interesting thing to think about, don't you think? It's something that's out of the ordinary, something that's out of the norm, because we know that a lot of things are not within our control. We know that, we know this. But a man who believes and lives his life as if everything is under his control, he has the most simple, the most integral, yet the most difficult pill to swallow when it comes to self-improvement. And that is full ownership. That is full accountability of everything that happens in that man's life. And ownership and discipline and all of that jibby jabby stuff is <laughs> something that I'm still trying to get into and trying to genuinely learn and educate myself in, immerse myself in this world of full accountability, full ownership. What is that life like? What kind of improvement would that bring into my life if I were to take everything and make it my fault? Everything that happened in my life up until this point is my responsibility. What do you think would happen to my life? What do I think would happen to my life? And what would that benefit me? Before we go ahead and get started though, make sure you guys definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button, okay? I have to pay my editor. <laughs> so make sure you guys definitely go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. With that being said, let's go on with the video. <laughs> so in order for me to fully convey full accountability and full ownership, I have to tell you two stories. Both of these people are very, very dear and close to my heart. And therefore, I will have to not disclose their identity. So story number one is a friend of mine, alias Aaron. <laughs> We're going to hide this guy's entire persona by the name of Aaron. So Aaron has one college class. He doesn't have a job. He is time blocking. You know, you know, time blocking is like 7 a.m. You have to do this kind of like one of those college class schedules. So it's 7 a.m. You do this 8 a.m. You do this 9 a.m. You do that. So time blocking. He does that, but he complains that he doesn't have an income. He complains that he's very, very stressed. He complains about a lot of things, but one of his friends has five college classes, is in finals week, and still manages to work on his job, still manages to have a decent, somewhat decent social life, still manages to do a lot of other things, as well as play video games, and still manages to study at the same time. He's juggling a lot of things. He's still managing to do all of these things. So then one day, all of Aaron's friends and himself gathered together. Gather around folks, we're here to tell a story. We're here to talk about life and everything in between. So they were talking about this certain facet of their life, college, self-improvement, discipline, job, et cetera, et cetera, with a sprinkle of degeneracy because they're Gen Z. So. so they were in the group chat and one of Aaron's friends pointed out that one of Aaron's friends is doing a lot, way more, way more than Aaron is, but he's still managing to do X. Y and Z. So his friend said, why can't you do that? Why can't you do X, Y, Z? You're managing to do X, you're managing to do Y, but you can't, what, what, what's the problem? What seems to be the problem? You have one college class. Why don't you have a job? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? He's doing way more than you are. Why can't you? Before I do go ahead and tell you what Aaron's response is, what do you think Aaron's response is? What do you think? Comment that down below. What do you think Aaron told his friend? Instantly, after hearing that, excuses flew out of his mouth. Well, I'm not like him. Just because he has five college class and he's able to manage it doesn't mean that I can. I'm putting hours and hours in just to this one class. I'm rewriting notes. Rewriting notes. I'm reviewing this. I'm highlighting all of these. I'm reviewing like 10 to 12 hours every single day just for this one class and I'm still stressed. So then after that, after Aaron vented, do you think Aaron's friends respected him after that? After hearing the words that came out of Aaron's mouth up until then, his friends created a persona of him. Naiwan sa mga kaibigan ni Aaron ang palaisipin. Aaron's friends were left with an inkling of Aaron, that Aaron is a fake productive person. Why? Because he is doing all of these things. 
He's doing 80% of the things that he needs to do that only manage to result in 20% benefit. If you know about the Pareto principle, it literally just suggests that 20% of income results in 80% of the outcome. 20% of the cities has 80% of the population. 20% of the stars has 80% of the gravitational mass. 20% of people attract 80% of the women, etc., etc. So the reverse is also the same thing. 80% of something only results in 20% of something. It can vary 90% of something, 10% of this, or maybe 95% of something results in 5% only. Therefore, Aaron is a fake productive person because he's doing everything, yet it doesn't move the needle. It doesn't move the scale to any degree whatsoever. Not only that, but his friends now think of Aaron as an excuse maker, someone who just makes excuses, doesn't reason. And third, his friends now think of Aaron as someone who is high-minded, who is hot and heavy, stuck in his ways. Because Aaron didn't have the humility to even think that maybe, just maybe, my friends are actual human beings that know something. Maybe, just maybe, what if my friend actually is doing something that I'm not? What is my friend doing that I'm not? And he is able to do X, Y, Z, and I'm not. Maybe, just maybe, if I had just, just a tiny bit of listening skills and a little bit of humility. Maybe I could do what he's doing and maybe it would apply to my life. Maybe, just maybe. But no, Aaron was stuck in his ways. And where do you think Aaron is now? Do you think Aaron is happy with his life now? Or do you think Aaron is still the same? He's still the same human being. He's still the same, stuck in his ways, stuck being stressed, no job, no income, no nothing. Now we move on to story number two. And Let's hide his persona by the name of Ronell. So Ronell was in this gathering of a bunch of other entrepreneurs. And Ronell was in this lineup, in this group of entrepreneurs. And one of kind of the speakers asked him a simple, basic thing about real estate. What are the basic tenets of real estate? Something that every realtor, something that every real estate agent, something that every entrepreneur in the real estate business should know. Just think of that. Think of that one thing that every single entrepreneur should know. Renal stood up. Every entrepreneur, just, just imagine every entrepreneur, every single one is just looking at Renal, waiting for Renal to answer the question. It's a basic question. It's like one plus one. Renal stood up and said, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the, the answer to that question. I don't know the specifics th to answer that question that you have, sir. To which then the speaker responded, aren't you also teaching other entrepreneurs to do X? If you don't even know the basic tenets of real, real estate, why are you teaching other people X, Y, Z? Why are you teaching other people th the specifics if you don't even know the fundamentals? So imagine every single eye in the room is on Renell. What do you think is going through Ronell's mind. Humiliation, excuses are flying in his thoughts. What do you think is going on in Ronell's mind? So then after that event, Ronell did some pondering. Yes, excuses did fly in his mind. Ronell was like, ah, oh, dang, he shouldn't have said that. Why did he have to pick on me? Like, why is the pressure so hot and heavy just on me? Like, what about the other entrepreneurs? He did experience that, but the better man, maybe he's onto something. Maybe he's right. Think about it. Why are you a real estate agent who has a course who is also teaching other entrepreneurs how to make this money? You don't even know the fundamentals. Like, how are you going to teach someone as a basketball coach how to dribble, how to shoot? You know what I'm saying? How to cross over if you don't even know how to dribble, if you don't even know how to shoot, if you don't even know how to pass. Why are you teaching everyone how to lay up? Why are you teaching everyone how to do the Euro step if you don't even know how to dribble? Why are you teaching people the specifics, the superstar moves, if you don't even know your fundamentals? So then what did Ronell do? Ronell actually had the humility to do some introspection and had the utmost courage because I believe it's, it's courage. It's courage to actually demote yourself and go back to the fundamentals, go back to level one, go back to level zero even, and start learning the fundamentals again. What do you think Ronald did? Ronald took responsibility for his life. Ronald took full ownership of everything. It is my fault. I should have known that. I should have known X. I should have known Y. Ronald took all of that and improved on himself. There's a couple of things as to why I named these people Ronell and Aaron, because I believe that these two people are in every single one of us. Story number one and story number two, they're both me. 
they're both pieces of me. Even though these two stories are not me specifically, I can relate to them because I have done both. These two personas are within each and every one of us. The same way how we're not necessarily able, we're not necessarily Cain. We are both. We both have able tendencies. We both have Cain tendencies. But the only reason why one prevails is because we lean with our decisions and with our mindsets to either one. So that's the story that I want to tell. That's the lesson that I want to portray with you. And it is something that I'm learning within myself as well. That is, if I do make excuses like Aaron, if I do live my life as if I was Aaron, where nothing is in my control, nothing is my fault, I'm doing what it is that I'm supposed to do, yet I'm still unhappy with my life, it doesn't make any sense because if I was happy with my life, and if I was earning money, and if I was satisfied, then I wouldn't necessarily be stressed. Or I would love the stress because I know that it comes with something. But I'm not. I'm just making excuses. How would my life be if I lived my life like Aaron? Versus, what if the pressure did build me like a diamond? What if I was to take this pressure? What if I was to take this high expectation of me and build something of myself? What if I take full accountability of everything and I did improve? How would my life be 10 years from now if I lived my life just like Ronell? So even though full accountability and full ownership is something that is very, very hard to do because you're gonna get humiliated, excuses are gonna fly into your head. You're gonna be, you, you, you're gonna be experiencing a whole bunch of different emotions. But the only way to improve yourself, the only way to cure a sickness is to acknowledge the sickness even exists and that you have the capacity to change it. Why would someone live their life and improving themselves daily if their mindset is nothing is my fault. I don't have to improve on anything because nothing is my fault. Excuses are what I walk on. I don't have to improve. It's not my fault. Why do you think that person would even think of improving himself? He won't. Versus the other person whose everything is my fault. Maybe if I would have done this, the outcome would have been different. So he's constantly improving himself. And that's the lesson that I want to portray with you guys. Comment down below whether you're a Runel or an Aaron. L Aaron W Runel. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below what you think of this video. How you guys think of the editor. <laughs> comment down below if I should fire him and hire a new one. <laughs> so, subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Again, I upload every single Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow me on my Instagram at Aaron, and my Twitter is also Aaron, and my TikTok is also at Aaron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.